Good morning, good morning, good morning. Praise God, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for another wonderful day. Boy, I tell you what, every day above ground is a good day when you're with the Lord. I say it all the time. And all you by the way, my name is Minister Doc Tucker, back at you with a word of encouragement. Boy, I tell you what, and I'm, I got a scripture for you that I'm gonna, that I'm preparing right now, but I'm trying to get myself situated because I got my coffee right here and it's not gonna be a very long message. It's just something that I have to say. You know, we are in the beginning of the week. Mm, Sunday is the beginning of the week. And everybody is a working progress and God is working with everybody. He's working with the good as well as the evil. And people don't believe that. But what I'm saying this morning is that I want to get in and encourage you, boy, because I tell you, watching the news and just different things that's going on in the world, I tell you what. And I'm always saying, keep your hands in Jesus' hands and pray for God's will for you and your family. And you know, when we was growing up, we used to always hear, uh, you have to be, we have to get prayed up. You know, we have to, we have to get prayed. No, you have to stay prayed up. And I want you to go to getting prayed up. I want you to go to getting, I want you to go to getting prayed up. I want you to go to seeing about your family. Cause boy, I tell you what, it's going to get worse before it get better. Boy, I tell you what, this, this so-called government that we are in right now and the money that they're giving to other countries and neglecting the American people. You know, like I said, you know, continue to keep your hands in Jesus' hands. You know, even when the rent is going up and even, I man, the groceries and everything that we know, it'll never be the same again. Everything is getting gas, everything is high. And I continue to say, keep your hands in Jesus' hands. Pour your hands out of his or her hands. Pour your hands out of Satan's hands. Pour your hands out of every, anything that will separate you from the Lord our God. Pour your hands out. Call upon the name of Jesus while you still have time, while he is near. There's a lot of stuff that's going on in this 4.30 in the morning. Boy, and I tell you what, I'm just, whew, boy, I tell you what, and I am so grateful. I thank God for his grace and mercy in my life. Because he's walked through, he's walked with me through some very horrible and terrible things. Yes, he has. And I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only one. But I want to get in here and I wanted to talk with you about some stuff. And I want to get in here and I want to give you a scripture. And I don't want you to lose heart. The word says that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. The word said, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things shall be added to you. You know, and I talk to you. And, I, and, and I'm going to tell you to love like Jesus love. I'm going to say that, you know, love like Jesus love. When I was coming along and, and, and when I was learning and I would always hear, what would Jesus do? So we need to bring that phrase back. What would Jesus do? Would Jesus curse out anybody or be mean to anybody or be merciless to anybody or, or be uncompassionate to anybody? That's what I'm saying to you today because you got people doing it. But there's one verse of scripture that I that I love myself that you all know what it is. And when I when I when I go to reading it to you, you're gonna know what it is. And this scripture that I that I that that I love with everything. And then this scripture has gotten me through some very hard times, some very, very hard times. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna give it to you. And it's a simple scripture. And, and and that's why I lay everything at the feet of Jesus. That's why I trust in the Lord. That's why I rest in the Lord. And that's why everything go on. You go and you're gonna have people. You're gonna have people that's gonna walk out your life. You're gonna have people that's gonna put their mouth on you in a bad way. You're gonna curse you, attack you spiritually. You're gonna have all kind of stuff that's gonna happen to you. You're gonna have all kinds of things happen to you, but I tell you what, there's one verse of scripture that I lay before any man or any woman. I lay before, I, I lay before, I lay before Satan if he was standing in front of me. It's one verse of scripture that I got that that that's been in my heart and it stays in my heart, and it's in Proverbs chapter three, verses five and six, when it says, "Trust in the Lord with all your heart." Lay not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. I'm talking about right there and he shall direct your path. That's why I'm always saying lay everything at the feet of Jesus. Humble yourself before the mighty throne of God and give it to him because that's the only thing that will save us. Jesus said that no one comes to the Father except by me. That's what he said. You got to have Jesus. There's no sitting on the fence. There's no scrawling the fence. 
and you got so many people straddling the fence and God's just waiting. He's calling your name. He's calling your name. He's calling your name. God is so good. So before we come to mind, take your hands out of these people's hands. Stop relying on people and start relying on the Lord your God. Yes, I said the Lord your God. It's a lot of people been led astray. A lot of people been led astray, been tricked, been brainwashed, and just all kind of thing. And the, and Satan is just like the Pied Piper. He's playing that flute boy and he's leading. And they just, everybody just going down the street. They get everybody just dancing and following them on. And he's following them straight to hell. Yes, I say hell. Hell is a place. <laughs> there is a heaven and there is a hell. Mm. You know, so that's what I'm saying to you today. And I wanted to get back on here and I wanted to I wanted to give this short message this morning and just remember this scripture. Remember Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6 today and, and the rest of the week. And all you by the way, I won't be having uh service today at Doc Tucker Ministries and that Sunday morning word. I will not be having service today. Uh but I will pick it up. I will pick it up, though. Come Monday at 6 a.m. Central Standard Time. When I tell you what God is in, come and taste. Come and taste and see that the Lord is good. You are, yes, you. you come and taste and see that the Lord is good. You are invited. You are invited. And again, God loves you, so do I. God bless you and your family in the wonderful and holy and mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is Lord. I need to do two things for me. I need to do two things for me to pray my strength in the Lord and share this video with a friend. Amen and amen.